be thinking about that, gentlemen, if y'all wanted to come up and help. We hope to have it made this week and be able to install it by the weekend. So that's pretty exciting. So you're going to start to see this, uh, this logo a lot of different places. Uh, I was going to tell y'all a quick story. Um, when I got up this morning, I was trying to figure out what I was going to wear, and um, which is a struggle, right? I, it is. It, it's a struggle. I, I put on several different things and nothing was right. And I just settled on this, and so we just went with it. But um, these jeans, I'm going to tell you a little story about these jeans. Okay? These jeans, I bought these six months ago. Six months. And I've been telling you all about this journey that I've been on with running and with, uh, with weight loss and all those kind of things. So when I bought these jeans, they did not fit. Does that make any sense? It was for a goal, but when I bought them, I, I tried them on, and I mean, and I told Rita, I came out of the dressing room, I told Rita, I said, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. I said, these don't fit, but they're such a good price. And he said, well, I really feel like you should buy them, and they'll be your goal. That'll be what you're going to work towards. And I said, but does it really make sense to buy a pair of jeans that I can't wear to, to spend that kind of money on it, you know? And he said, yeah. He said, I think it's a good idea. They're on sale. It's a good price. And it will give you something to work with. And so I agreed, and I bought them. And they have been hanging in my closet for six months. And so week after week, I would go into the closet, and I'd see them there, and I'd be like, I've been doing pretty good. Maybe I should try them on. And so I... Pull them out, I try them on. Like, okay, this is not the week. <laughs> back up. And, you know, you go through these emotions, right? You're like, man, I'm just, I feel discouraged. I've been really working hard and I've been doing everything that I need to be doing. I have been really sacrificing uh, and, and really fighting against my flesh to be able to reach this goal. And, well, I tried them on last week and I had given up. I haven't tried them on in like three months. So last week I decided, you know, it's coming into fall. Hopefully, please, Jesus, soon it's going to be fall. And I'm going to start wearing jeans a lot more often. Please let these jeans fit. And so I went and I tried them on and I was like, oh my gosh, I can even button and zip. <laughs> it's amazing. And ladies, y'all you know what I'm talking about. That's a good day. That is a very good day. And so when I, when I decided what I was going to wear this morning, That he might be calling you to do something that right now doesn't quite seem to fit where you're at. Maybe he's calling you into a, a, a deeper season of prayer than you've ever been in before. And it doesn't seem to really fit because like right now you're praying for like five minutes and you can't keep your mind focused on it and you're just everywhere. But God's calling you to be on your knees in prayer. Or maybe God's calling you to start a ministry that he's put in your heart, but you're terrified and you don't know what to do with it, and it just doesn't seem to fit right now where you're at. Maybe he's calling you to, to serve in this local body in a way that just doesn't <coughs> seem to fit with you right now. I mean, maybe he is calling you to, to do Sunday school, or maybe he's calling you to work with the youth. And you're like, but I don't even like kids. That doesn't seem to fit. Can I tell you that when I bought these jeans, they didn't fit at all, but I kept working towards it. And if you keep going in the direction that God is leading you into, you're going to fit. You're going to fit right where he's putting you. And you're going to be able to serve him in a way that you never thought you'd be able to serve him before. And you're going to wake up one Sunday morning, and you're going to put on the jeans, and they're going to fit. And you're going to be so surprised at how God brought you from this place of going, God, I just don't know if I can do that, to, wow, God, look what you're doing in this. Amen. So I want to encourage you this morning. If God has placed something in your heart and it doesn't seem to fit, set aside your flesh and say, yes, God. Yes, God. You're calling me to it, and I'm going to walk towards it.
Go on and bow those heads. I'm going to pray before we start the praise and worship. Father, I just want to thank you for today, Lord. I just want to praise you for everything that you've done for us, God. And just for who you are and what you mean to us, Father. And I just want to pray, Father, that today while we, we sit up here on stage, Father God, and we sit here in our, at our seats, Father God, that we don't, we don't get confined, Father God, into this church, Father God. And we don't get this complacency about us, Father God. I pray that you would just break us and change us and mold us into something that you can use, Father God. And I pray, Jesus, that you would just soften our hearts, Father, so that we can truly worship you, Father God. I mean, truly come to the throne, Father God, and just and pour our hearts out to you, Lord. And I just want to thank you for everything you've done, Lord. And I pray for your Holy Spirit, Father God, to just rain down in this place, Father God, and touch our lives, Lord, and change us, Lord Jesus. And I praise you, Father God, for the for the relationship that we can have with you, Father God, through the blood of Jesus Christ, Lord, and I just want to praise you in Christ's name and pray. Amen.
appropriate song to sing before we partake of the Lord's Supper. We are coming in remembrance of what He did for us on the cross. His body that was broken, His blood that was shed. And He went to the cross of Calvary because of His love for us. Amen. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank You, God. God, we thank You for Your Son, Jesus. God, the finished work at the cross, Lord. God, we thank you for grace, mercy, and redemption through faith, Lord. God, as we come and we partake of this today, God, we do it in remembrance of Him, Lord. He gave His life for us. This is His body that was broken, His blood that was shed, Lord. And I pray, God, that, that we would approach this in a manner, God, that is worthy of you, Lord. God, I pray if there's any unforgiveness in our hearts, God, that we would lay it down before you. God, any unconfessed sin, God, that we would confess it to you. God, we ask for your cleansing, Lord, and just your renewal in our lives, Lord. And Father, we want to pray for the offering, Lord. We thank you, God, for your many blessings in our lives, Lord, and just your provision for our every need. God, we want to pray, Lord, that you would just bless the giving this to, to this day, Father God, that you be used to your glory, uh, God, for the building of your kingdom, Lord. We give you all praise, honor, and glory in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.